The CWX is based around the Xeon CW Aero Road design, but has through axle equipped disc stopping power combined with wind tunnel tune shape and racing geometry. My 59cm test bike features steep 73.5 and 73.75 head and seat angles with a long 407mm reach and 580mm stack. This combined with the 1009mm wheelbase, makes for a bike that's a proper competition-focused rig. The CWX's aero shape is sweetly combined with a bike that feels eager and quick from the first turn of the pedals. The relatively low weight, a tad over 8 kilos with a 1150 grams frame at the heart of the bike, adds to the feeling of speed and over flat terrain the CWX approaches TT bike levels of pace. You could add a set of clip-on TT bars and flip the clamp on the dedicated arrow post, to further steepen the seat angle. Use then have yourself a very competitive against the clock machine. On rolling roads and through the turns the steepened geometry makes for a rapid handling bike with instantaneous responses to steering inputs. It's a very different kind of aero road machine where my experience has shown that most aero bikes major on stability rather than responsiveness the Rose DX1650 disc wheels, as their name suggests, tip the scales at 1650 grams a pair, and combined with the Conti GP4000 sit tires this makes for a light and lively setup, which helps the CWX when it comes to hills. However, the CWX is at its best on the climbs when you get out of the saddle and attack rather than sit in and grind. The Racy 5236, 1128 gear combo gives enough range for climbs without compromising on flat road speed. And the slick alt grid drivetrain is matched with equally impressive top level Shimano hydraulics in the form of the class leading RS805 brakes equipped with 160mm ice deck rotors. These offer superb control and noise-free braking.